Mr. Pletcher, thank you very much for your time. Having entered the Hall of Fame, I'm sure this is one race on your resume that would make all the difference for all the other things that you've achieved in your life. Uh, this is certainly a race that's at the top of our list that we haven't won that we would love to win, so we're excited about the opportunity. We come from the far corner of the tip of Africa, and I've been privileged enough to see back to Captain Steve winning. And, uh, you know, along the way, horses like California, Chrome, and Arrowgate, and Pleasantly Perfect. Is this horse the same kind of horse that you can speak about in those turns because he looks that way? Oh, I think he's a you know very gifted horse. He's as talented as any that, that we've had our hands on, and uh, so you know he's answered every question so far. The the only thing he has not had the opportunity to do yet is run ten for ten furlongs, which you know we're we're very optimistic that he'll he'll handle that. Pedigree wise, there there seems little doubt that he will comfortably get the ten furlongs. Yeah, I think so. You know, the into mischiefs have been staying. He's had a Derby winner winner with Authentic. He's out of a you know distorted humor mare. There's there's plenty of uh, you know stamina there <clears throat> obviously shipping for you guys is a lot easier than it is for South Africans but still it's a it's a mammoth undertaking and certain horses don't handle it how's he handled his shipping he's handled the shipping extremely well uh, he settled right in he's uh, galloped beautifully over the track since he's been here um, he's handled the walk from the quarantine facilities to the to the main track without any problems so you know, all those little things that, that you're concerned about as a trainer, he seems to have handled perfectly. His work rider, she looks very much at ease with him, Miss Green. She's uh, part and parcel of the whole makeup. She's done a terrific job, you know. I mean, I think she makes him look a little easier to, to train than he actually is. And, uh, you know, a lot of that is the relationship that her and he have t together. She gets along with him really well. When, when Dahlia Oro took on Pleasantly Perfect, I asked Dick Mandela, uh, would you swap places with anybody? He said, not a chance. Is that how you feel? Definitely. You know, we feel like we've, we've uh, got the right horse, and now uh, we'll just hope uh, hope everything goes, uh, goes smoothly. And finally, do you focus primarily on winning the race rather than who your dangers are? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think, he, you know, your main focus is, is, is making sure that your horse is as ready as he can be. And, uh, you know, so, so far I think we've uh, accomplished that. We'll have a paddock schooling tonight, and... Uh, you know, kind of get a dress rehearsal of sorts and uh, hope that he handles, you know, that part of it well, which uh, I would expect him to. And finally, ticking all the boxes, is everything in place that you were hoping would fall into place along the line? So far, I guess we get the post position draw to go. and I don't think we're going to have to sweat that too much. He's, he's traditionally been a good horse away from the gate and, you know, I think we'll be forwardly placed. But, uh, you know, you just don't want to get a really poor draw. But it's, it's not mandatory that he has to go to the front. I don't, I don't think it's mandatory that he has to be on the lead, no, but I think uh, you know, he's such a naturally fast horse, I, I would envision that he's going to be very close to it.